Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Tomorrow, our final day of winter is going to snow. And our fortune to... Okay, we're going mining. <laughs> oh, we got some mail here. Let's see what's up. Uh, I know a couple of recipes. If I send you one, maybe it'll help you to, uh, mine more or something. Take care. Oh, okay. Clint sent us a beef, beef hot pot recipe. Cool. So yeah, it is the last episode for winter. Hoorah! <laughs> Winter's gonna be over. We can finally get back into farming again. Um, so at some point in this episode, where do I want to go first? The coop. At some point in this episode, I am going to have to set up um, some areas to farm, basically. Um, and I haven't done that, or I haven't... Oh, look at that as well. Our hay is just running out because the auto feeder has, has only got like one section in there or it's only got one one bit of hay or the auto feeder has a bit of hay missing so we know that it's it's run out um that could be bad um but yeah um i've got one section of farm where i know i'm going to actually do some farming but the rest i don't um so we'll see uh so just quickly i did have a request from one of my patrons oh wow this hay has run out as well um and that was to... Oh, oh, can I not do it? Oh, there we go. And that was to rename one of my sheep um, to Sophie. It actually came from Sophie, one of my patrons, because she was just like, oh, would you mind calling one of... If, if you get sheep, would you mind calling one of them Sophie? Sophie the sheep, which is one of my favorite animals when I was a little kid. So I was like, you know what? Sure thing. Why not? For, for helping me with the channel, I will, I will name a sheep after you. Okay, let's quickly sort out the cows because we've got goat's milk um, so, uh, this, th today. So it means, oh, no, we got goat's milk last time, so we're gonna need. They won't. They won't give us any milk today. So let's sort out our new cows, and uh, we are done with the animals today. Um, so something that I didn't realize actually is that all of my skills are level 10 except for foraging, and I really need foraging level 10 um, so that I can get good quality forageables to give to people like. Um, George, he likes the leaks, um, so I need to focus on doing that. Now, to get foraging XP, you can um, you can get um, or you, you can chop down trees, you can chop down the big stumps in the secret woods. Uh, they're a fantastic source of foraging XP. Uh, what else can you do? You can of course just forage. So I think what I want to do is I want to get some forageables to put into. Uh, the greenhouse, maybe get some seeds because I never, never finished off that. Um, you know what? As well, we have almost gone through every one of our ores here. In fact, after this batch, we would have done that. There we go. <laughs> we still got 277 coal. That's insane. I remember when coal was like a, a tough resource to to gather. Uh, let's quickly check our greenhouse and see what's going on in there. I don't think we've got anything that's going to be grown. No, not yet. That is fine. So, um, of course, today is going to be a mining trip, but first of all, I want to make sure that no one uh, has a birthday today. So let's do that real quick. Nope, no one's birthday until spring. Fantastic news. Pam is making her way to the uh, to the bus. So I'm going to get ready for my big mining adventure, 2013. It's 2018. I don't know why I said 2013. That was dumb. All right, so I think I've got everything I need. I only had enough stuff to make one pumpkin soup, which is a bit disappointing. Um, I ran out of milk. Pumpkin soup only takes pumpkin and milk, which is crazy. Like, that is a really easy recipe to make. <laughs> and remember, it gives you luck and defense, which personally I think is great for the mind. Speed is also fantastic, but since the spicy eel <clears throat> recipe is a bit more difficult to make, I am more than happy to make pumpkin soup instead, hence why I'm growing a bunch more pumpkins, but that's not the point. Let's eat our pumpkin soup. Uh, I have a couple of bombs, but not too many. Oh, and of course we start with a, a mummy floor. Oh well. Uh, I'm probably going to cut this bit out because there was quite a lot of mining a few episodes ago, so yeah, if anything interesting happens, I will of course be sure to let you guys know. Ooh, first bit of iridium ore on floor 17, and I had three bits in it there. That makes five in total, and uh, everything that I've gotten so far came from a single little purple slime. Oh, hello. I've also eaten one melon. Oh, spicy eel. <laughs> Not going too bad. It's 4 p.m. I'm only at floor 17, which kind of sucks. Again, need more bombs. I need just like a mass 
like just a load of bombs basically that's all i need to do when i come here so annoyingly it's getting kind of late it's just gone 12 and i i was actually running into some really good luck like i found several more iridium nodes like maybe maybe two or three like look at this iridium mode right here i like i don't want to leave just in case I can get more Iridium, I should probably be closer to the exit though, because I am going to have to make a run for it. Uh, but yeah, no, it's at, it's been a decent trip. You know, 23 Iridium Ore means that tomorrow I can definitely make that Iridium Band, which is fantastic. That was one of my goals. Oh, there's a purple stone over there. I believe these purple swirly stones, they can just have like um, any gem in them, which is pretty cool. Uh, I am going to quickly take care of... Oh, it's one. I'm going to quickly take care of this purple slime here, just in case it has more iridium. It did have one. Like, if I can get one more iridium from this big... Well, oh, these purple slime... Um, nah, I'm not going to risk it. There's too many there. I'm probably going to try and take all of them out in one go, because I'm in a rush, and it's not going to be worth doing. So, 24 iridium ore from that trip. Not, like, amazing by any stretch, but still, it means that I'm fairly certain I've got at least one iridium ore, because we broke open a bunch of Omni Geodes and we got at least one already more from it. I'm fairly certain that we can get um, get some stuff from that. And we got some oak resin here as well. Fantastic. Oop, there we go. Grab that. Your loyal horse waits for your return. I'm here. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to head straight to bed. <laughs> no time to sort out any of this today. Uh oh. 150. By the way, my journal button's gone. Um, I think it's because I don't have any quests in my journal. So... There's that. Okay. Day 27 done. And we got hardly any money. Okay. Day 28 of winter. It is Sunday. So I'm going to head to the traveling merchant and make sure that she she doesn't have a pomegranate or a red cabbage, I believe it was. I think the red cab... No, it's not a red cabbage. I always forget. Pomegranate. And... Oh, let's just have a look. Because otherwise I'll be trying to guess for ages. Oh, a truffle. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. What's our luck for? To or what's the weather for tomorrow? It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day. And spirits are in good humor. Fair enough. Queen of Sauce, cranberry candy. That is actually one of Vincent's love recipes. So there we Vincent's love recipe. That sounds a little bit odd, doesn't it? Let's check our mail. Oh, okay. Over depth. Uh, oh, thank you for the purple mushroom. That's a little bit weird. Not gonna lie. Okay, we have enough to make that Iridium Band, which is going to make mining a lot more fun. Put that in there, please. And we've got a bunch more gold. I'm, I've got a feeling I'm just going to sell some gold. Um, I don't need all of this gold. I don't even know what gold is useful for. Anyway, I'm going to clean out my pockets, and I will be right back. 52 gold bars. I'm going to sell like 29 of them. I just need money. <laughs> So I don't need all these gold bars. Gold is so easy to come by in the uh, in the caverns. I don't need them. Okay, first stop today, traveling merchant who is definitely going to have a pomegranate and a truffle. And she does not have either of them. I just completely lied. We could always buy garlic and sell it, but I think garlic you get in year two of spring anyway. Or spring of year two. Parsnip seeds, poppy. We always see poppies here now, but I got the poppy I needed. Anyway, since I'm here, I'm actually going to chop down the the stumps in the forest with my Iridium Quality Axe, since it can do it in like three hits. Yeah, nuts, which is great. Plus, these are worth 25 foraging XP each, so worth it, in my opinion. And these slimes, these slimes are nothing, man. So sadly, I also feel myself needing to buy some hay from Marnie. Oh, cutscene, okay, never mind. Hi Jazz, how's it going? Is this a cutscene for Jazz? Haven't seen any for Jazz, have we? Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said uh, he said to tell you he wants to show you something. Okay. Wait, what? Blue chickens? <laughs> what? That should do it. Wow, Shane's really turned his life around. From his sprite, it looks like he's had a shave, but then I think his sprites always look like that. It's the perfect home for you hens. Oh, look at him! <laughs> we'll have the best eggs in the whole valley. Fresh and healthy, with rich golden yolks. Not like those pale, sickly Joja eggs. Actually, from his, from his little photo there, it looks like he's had a shave as well. Okay, anything else? Uh, you know, Charlie... 
Oh, Charlie the Chicken. I was thinking, a guy like me is always teetering on the edge of despair. Know what I mean? But you and the other hands are going to keep me upright from now on. I know it. What's wrong? Too much pressure? Chuckle. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Tell me how to get blue hands. Hey, Dazza, so what do you think? They've got fluffy tails as well. My special blue hens. I've been raising them in secret for the last few months. I, well, I won't be living here forever, and I wanted to pass something on to Jazz. I've been teaching her how to care for them. I want to feel like I'm not just a leech on the world. I want to contribute somehow, even a small way like this. No. He's, he's developed so much throughout the game. It's crazy. Oh, is that it? You're not going to gift me a blue hen? I want one. Uh, supply shop. We need hay. And this is why you don't want to buy hay, because it's really expensive. Like, I just spent 2,500 gold on hay. Ugh. Oh well. Uh, I'm going to sort out my animals, and I will be right back. Of course, I'm going to throw this hay in the silo first. Okay, so starting off today, which kind of sounds a bit weird considering it's 1.20pm and we're starting off the day, uh, I'm going to be buying something which I didn't bring the ingredients for. Alright, take two. <laughs> I want to actually build a mill. Uh, as weird as it sounds, um, they're not too useful, but I kind of want one. They look pretty cool. And I've got just the perfect space for it right there. So that'll take a robin. That'll take a robin. That'll take robin a few days in spring to do that. We've got hardly any money left anymore. Oh no. Um, yeah, that'll take robin just a few days to do that. And it, that will be done early spring, which is fantastic. So the mill, you basically use to grind wheat into wheat flour. And I think one other material, I can't remember exactly what it is, but uh, it's, not, it's not too important. Uh, anyway, I need to make sure I go to Clint, and I thought I brought my Omni Geodes with me, but clearly I didn't, which is a bit of a shame. And we need to get our Iridium Watering Can, because we're going to need it in the morning. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go and see if I can get my Omni Geodes back to Clint before he shuts the day. I've got an hour to do so, so I don't think it's going to happen, considering my horse is all the way over here. But I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not. It's not going to be worth it. <laughs> so the rest of the day is going to be spent on the farm getting it ready for tomorrow. And boy, am I excited for spring. Oh, yes. We're going to do lots and lots of farming. But first of all, we've got our iridium bars here. So we can actually make that iridium band. Uh, where if I can find it, I can see what other materials I need for it. Uh, solar essence and void essence. Pfft, got loads of those. <laughs> Been saving them for the uh, for the, uh, the wizard. In fact, that's almost all of them, but it doesn't matter. So the, vo uh, the the iridium band here works like a magnet ring, works like a glow ring, and also increases attack damage as well. So we, uh, add that onto our burglar's ring, and we are, we are going to be getting lots and lots of loot. Anyway, one of the first things that I need to do today is finish off my coop barn area, because as of tomorrow... Uh, the animals will be free, <laughs> free to roam around. Uh, so one of the things which I want to do is make two looms. Did I just make two of them? Because it looks like I only made one of them. There we go. That's uh, because I used my last pine tar. And they are going to go there. So that will be able to convert wool into cloth. Now originally I was going to use just normal fences, but I decided to use hardwood fences. Oh, artisan. Okay. I think I need like 40-ish. And I'm just going to cover the outside area with it. So they are a little bit different color, which is fine by me. I'm actually going to leave a gap of one as well. Uh, you'll see why. Wait, is it a gap of one? Yeah, it is a gap of one. Uh, like I said, you will see why when it comes to springtime next, whoops, next episode. Remember, if you do accidentally place one, you can rip it up on the same day without it disappearing because its durability is still 100% which is fine. Anyway, I'm going to quickly place all these down. Uh, as for what else I'm going to do uh, in in the farm today, really, in the farm today, um, I'm also going to zone out one of my first farming areas, like I say, an area dedicated to farming, where I'm going to plant crops, which is going to be fun. Okay, there we go. Uh, so that's one side complete. Looks like we're probably not going to have quite enough hardwood fence here. I was a bit skeptical about using all of my hardwood, uh, so I'm not going to use too much hardwood fence. In fact, actually considering how much stone we've got, I was actually going to use stone fence for some of this as well. Uh, and how far back do I want this to go? That's annoying. <laughs> I only needed one more. 
Okay, whatever. We need 42 for this section. And boop, there we go. So this is gonna... Mm, it doesn't line up. It doesn't line up, and that will annoy me. So, it has to line up. Uh, oh, actually, we need four more as well, don't we? Because we need to actually block off the entrance. So we need five in total there. So, like, 48, I think that was. That's fine. And then, like so. So we have our coop area, which is fantastic. Uh, and we've also got a little extra area here where, ne where it's next to our loom. Oop, so that we can so that we can come in and go out. Uh, so like I said, the other thing that I need to do is get ready to farm tomorrow as well. Uh, so this area in here is actually going to be where a bit of our farming goes. Um, I need some cobblestone paths and I need some fence gates. Uh, I think, think I need six in total. So let's make six. That would be helpful. Uh, and where did these go? So this one goes in line with the third chest here. Uh, and then we've got... Ooh, where does this one go? So we've got, like, two spaces there. And then it goes here, I think. Okay. Well, we'll see if that's right or wrong when it gets to it. Uh, we've got another path going there. And we have another one where it's, like, one, two three and then we've got one going there uh this make this will make more sense when uh when the the the, the fence is put in but yeah you'll see oh I've, I've also got some tree planting i need to do as well otherwise we're never going to get a, a tapping farm set up anyway on the end of all of these cobblestone bits is where our fence is going to go and this may seem like a small plot of land to farm, and it is, but it's not going to be my only plot of land to farm. At the moment, it's the only plot of land I've got um, sort of ready to farm. Plus, this is more than enough um, more than enough area for us to farm for the time being anyway. So, I mean, you, you guys will see. You guys will see. Okay, whoops, didn't want that there. No, I wanted that one there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's pop all of those down. Okay, I think it looks really cool. I like it. I like how it looks. Uh, the stone fence and the uh, and the the gates. I think they look really cool together. Um, of course, we're gonna need some iridium sprinklers, which is gonna be fantastic. And I want to put something underneath the iridium sprinklers. Did I even pick them up? Yes, I did. But I don't know what. Some type of flooring. Um, like if it would if if we were going for what makes the most sense, it would probably be like the stone one. But I like the stepping stones. Anyway, we are going to need six iridium sprinklers in total here. Um, and I can't remember exactly... Well, we could always use our hoe, couldn't we, to figure out where these go. Um, I'm pretty sure if we do it like that... Yeah, that's fine. Um, so let's see. They have a range of one by... Or two by two, which means the first sprinkler would go here, I think. Yeah, first sprinkler goes here, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to place down a stepping stone, and then put a sprinkler on top of it. The reason why I place place the reason why I place a stepping stone is that if you have something underneath the sprinkler, when you go and hoe, the sprinkler doesn't get dug up, but the other sprinklers do if um, if you hoe them up. So yeah, that's why I do that. Uh, let's see here. Um, if we do it like that. Then we know that we need a sprinkler there. Okay. So actually it would probably make more sense. Hmm. No, it's fine. It's fine, because I'm gonna have to use some normal quality sprinklers for the time being to um to flesh this area out with. So hmm. I guess if I guess if we do like the top one or the top section, if we make that like um fully complete first. Uh, hey, mixed seeds! Yippee! Just exactly what I wanted. Uh, so let's see, we've got like one, two, and then one, two, sprinkler. Okay, so if we pop down a stepping stone and a sprinkler on top of it, then we know where we're at. So of course, like I said, I'm going to need to put some, uh, some uh, normal sprinklers here for the time being, but for now... I'm just going to hoe this se uh, section out. I'm not going to get around to doing my tree tapping farm today, which kind of is annoying. But, I, I mean, that was one of the things, one of the goals that I set out to do during springtime. So, eh, whatever. I don't know if any of these uh, are going to stay hoed overnight, but we'll soon find out next episode. Oh, man, I am so excited to be starting spring. You guys have no idea. 
I'm sure you guys are excited to watch Spring as well, since it's been so many episodes since we did some decent farming. Okay, so let's get this section done. And now let's see where we need to put our normal quality sprinklers, since we've got so many of them. Um, so this area would be covered, and this area would be covered. This area wouldn't, so I need one. Oh, I can't actually put it down. I think I need one there, so one, two, one. Yeah. And then annoyingly, that area won't... So, we're going to have to do some manual watering, and I think I might just manually water it anyway, since we've got the Iridium can. So for now, that should be fine. I know it's almost 2 a.m., and I know I need lots of energy tomorrow, uh, but I also need some scarecrows, and I can't remember where the scarecrows go. Uh, oh, yes, I can, actually. Um... So we need one scarecrow, and this placement is very important. It has to go, like, directly in the middle. Oh, yeah, well, we can get it directly in the middle because we know where our um, sprinklers are, so that helps. And if we put these in the middle here, these will be... Uh, these two scarecrows will be on the outside, and they will cover the whole ins... Uh-oh, 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 please be inside, please be inside. Uh... <laughs> I fell asleep. We're going to start the first day of spring year two with, like, no energy. Oopsie. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Did I sell anything today? I think I did. Winter is over. Looks like I didn't spend as much time doing it or getting prepared as I would have hoped, but it doesn't matter. Guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you all enjoyed. We got a lot of money, mainly thanks to those gold bars. See, I told you it was smart selling them. I hope you all enjoyed winter. It was a bit slow and boring, but join me next time when we start year two of Stardew Valley. And of course, springtime is farming time. Thanks once again for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all in the next one. Bye-bye.